Hi guys, welcome to our yoga class this afternoon. I want a minute early so I can get you guys together. Louie just wanted to say hi. He's gonna go outside and hang out in the sunshine. So, say hi to Lou. Say bye to Lou. That's always something to put you in a good mood. All right, I'm gonna throw him back outside. I'm not gonna throw him, I'm just gonna place him outside. All right. All right, let me get you on live, see what we're doing here. Welcome back to my living room. And let me find you, here we are. Okay, gotcha, I've got all of you guys. Hi Eve, you were the first one the other day also to sign on for my yoga. So welcome back. Um, Today's yoga is going to be a little bit more vigorous. Uh, just know that anytime you feel you need to, you can always drop down into a child's pose and do what makes you feel good. Hey, Jenna. So, um, just a few things. I got 10 people watching. So, hello, everybody. If I didn't see your name pop up and I didn't say hello, then hello, good afternoon. So, we are going to come down to our mat. The other day, somebody told me that it looked like my hair was on fire. Um, and I guess it kind of does, huh? <laughs> so, <laughs> so, what I want us to think about today is just um, kind of letting go. Just letting go of what we're feeling and sort of where we are so that we can just kind of be here for a little bit. Let go of some anxieties, let go of some stress. Um, and always just come back to the breath as that kind of will help to bring you into your poses, in and out of your poses, and not just in your asanas, in your classes, or during your practice, but also, you know, when you have that time during the day where you're feeling anxious and you're feeling, oh my God, like what next, what do I do, or you have the news on or whatever, um, take that time to stop and breathe, maybe do 10 breaths in and out, count them, and it just slows you down, okay? So, hey, Kate Schuster. And Pam, Vanessa, you're back. Okay. <laughs> Vanessa makes me laugh at my nine o'clock classes. So anyway, what we're going to do is start out just getting a little bit grounded before we kind of start moving into stuff. So I want you to come into whatever comfortable seated position is good for you. If this is not good for you, you can sit um, up against the wall. You can sit with your legs extended. What I want you to do, bring your hands either to your thighs or right in the center. Sit up tall and take a deep breath in. Exhale through your nose. Good, and just start to slow down, keeping your eyes closed. We're gonna start to slow down and start to kind of notice your breath without trying to change it, all right? Notice how the breath feels. Notice if it's slightly choppy, if it is smooth, if it is short, don't try to change it, just notice. Keeping the eyes closed, another deep breath in and out. And as you exhale, notice if you're letting out all of the air or if you're kind of getting stuck in a spot. You don't try to change it. Just notice. I'm gonna get music on. Just notice. Notice if anything is going on in your mind. Something that you might just be able to let go of. Just for the next 40 minutes or so on your mat. Notice it. Kind of sit with it for a second and then let it go. As you breathe, allow each breath to be just a little bit deeper than the last. And let each exhale be a little bit longer than the last. Sorry, I'm trying to get music on for you guys.
as you inhale, sit up just a little bit taller. And as you exhale, just allow your sit bones to sink into the earth. And as you inhale, reach the crown of your head up toward the sky. And as you exhale, soften the muscles in your face. Relax the muscles in your jaw. Inhaling, lengthening the spine, sitting the shoulders directly above the hips. And as you exhale, just notice the hands a little bit heavier on your thighs. Taking the time to notice where you are in this space, where you are in your body. On your next inhale, take the deepest inhale that you can through the nose. Deep inhale, inhale. Take a little more in, hold it. Out through your mouth. Let it all out. Again, inhale as deep as you can through the nose. Exhale, sigh it out. And bring your hands to your heart center. Firmly pressing the palms together. Feeling the thumbs against your chest. Feeling the temperature of your skin. Feeling the skin of each hand. Pressing your index fingers together, your middle fingers, your ring fingers, and your pinky fingers. Notice your heartbeat. And just begin to ground and center. Right here is a good time to think of a, an intention for your practice today, something to bring with you throughout your practice. An intention can be just the reason that you came to your mat. It could be just to slow down. It could be that we are home and doing our job being home to keep ourselves and others safe and well. Whenever you feel challenged today in life, during your practice, come back to this intention and remember why you are doing this. So let's blink the eyes open. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, press away any distractions. Inhale, reach your arms up. Bring the palms firmly together and then bring them back down to your heart center. Inhale, up. Exhale, press away. Inhale, up. Exhale, hands to heart center. This time, inhale, up and bring your right hand down to the floor and left arm reaches over. Go ahead and look up at the arm if that feels okay, up at the ceiling. Or you can imagine looking up at the blue sky. Inhale, lift up a little. Exhale, get a little more length. Inhale, all the way up, reach and lengthen each side of your body. And then exhale, let's take it to the other side. So we're starting off slow, enjoy this. Inhale, get a little more length. Exhale, over. Inhale, all the way up, reach. Exhale, reach to me like you're reaching for my hands. Reach. Inhale, lift a little. Exhale, fingertips down. Don't round yet. Inhale, and then exhale, fold over those legs as best you can. Let your head hang, hang down. Breathe. Breathe and allow yourself to soften. Allow yourself to let go.
Begin to walk your hands back toward your legs. We'll take a few easy twists. Inhale up. Take your right hand to your left knee and twist. Inhale up. Switch sides. Inhale up. Come forward. On the inhale, roll yourself up. Exhale, soften the shoulders. Inhale, both arms up. Exhale, twist. Inhale, both arms up. Exhale, twist the other direction. Inhale, both arms up. Exhale, bring it forward. Inhale, roll. Exhale, soften. Inhale, up. Exhale, twist. Inhale, up. Exhale, twist. Allow your breath to lead your movement. Inhale up. Exhale down. Allow your breath to feel like a rhythm. Inhale up. Exhale, soften the shoulders. And as you inhale up, bring your hands in front of you as you come forward over onto hands and knees. So I'm going to turn just so you can see me. Spreading out your fingers, spreading out your toes, and the knees are directly under your hips. Press into your knuckles and lift your knees one inch off of the floor. Let's start to build a little bit of warmth through that core, the neck, and the head being an extension of your spine. So try not to look down. Keep the neck muscles the cervical vertebrae in line with the rest of the spine. Breathe. Noticing warmth building in your thighs. Noticing that the breath will become deeper. One more inhale. And as you exhale, lift your hips, press back, drop your head between your shoulders and come to your first downward facing dog. Now, knees can be bent, feet are apart. And if you'd like to just walk your dog a little bit, see where you are in this first downward facing dog. See how it feels and keep breathing. If you need to, you can rock your hips side to side. Just a little movement to the body. See how it feels. Good. So let's lift up onto all of the toes, all the way up. Press back your chest so it's going toward your shin. And now start to walk on your toes forward toward your hands. Start to walk. Just get as close as you can. Knees can be bent. Inhale. Exhale, drop your heels and drop the weight of your upper body. If you'd like to, you can dangle down, grabbing the elbows. You can walk this side to side if you like. Okay, but allow that breath to keep flowing. Allow yourself to let go. Can you press your heels just a little bit more into the ground. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. On your next inhale, inhale, bring your hands to your shins, flatten your back and look forward. Exhale, bring your hands back down to the floor and step back into a plank. Spread out your fingers, press into your knuckles. Hold. Press into the big toes. 
lengthen your neck. Drop your knees, chest, chin, uncurl your toes, lift your hands off the floor, squeeze your elbows towards each other, press your pelvis into the floor, breathe. Exhale, bring it down. Starting to press up to the knees, push up, curl the toes, lift up. Downward facing dog. Lift your right leg high and hold it there. Breathe. Now, is that as high as you can get it? Can you get it just a little higher? Squeezing that right glute just a little bit more. Squeeze it. Get it up higher if you can. Inhale. Exhale, bring it down. Left leg, bring it up. Press that chest toward the right shin. Lift that leg a little bit higher if you can. Sometimes you surprise yourself. Breathe. Inhale. Exhale, bring that foot down. Inhale. Exhale, forward to high plank. Move your toes if you need to, breathe. Chin, sorry, knees, chest, chin, uncurl, lift. Press your pelvis into the floor, relax your butt. Inhale, exhale down. Now, toes curled under. You can either go back with the knees again or press straight up and go back to downward facing dog. Breathe, let that head hang. Body's starting to get warm. So inhale, press back. Exhale, walk your feet forward as best you can. Inhale, lengthen, look forward, hands to shins. Exhale, fold. Inhale, let's rise all the way up. Bring the hands together, and I want you to squeeze them together as if you are squeezing your ears with your biceps. Squeeze, and then bring your hands your heart center. Relax your shoulders. Inhale all the way up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen and look forward with a flat back. Exhale, walk back to plank. Inhale. Exhale, lower yourself down. And then inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Press back. Inhale, press back a little farther. Exhale, walk your feet forward towards your hands. Inhale, lengthen, look forward. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reverse your swan dive all the way up, bringing your hands together, bring them to heart center. Inhale up, slight back bend. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, walk, step, or jump back. Inhale, exhale, lower down. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Breathe. Soften. Good. Bend your knees, lift your heels. Now, you can walk your feet forward if you want. If you want a little bit more, you're gonna use this as a little kind of spring. Ready? Walk or jump your feet forward. Fold. Inhale up. Exhale, fold. Inhale all the way up. Hands together, squeeze, and then bring them down. Close your eyes. Notice warmth. Notice your breath. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold. 
Inhale, lengthen and look forward. Exhale, walk, step or jump down at the same breath. Exhale. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe. Hold. Press into the thumbs as well as the knuckles of the hands. Inhale, lift your right leg up high. And then as you exhale, bend that right knee so the heel comes towards your backside. Point the knee up toward the sky and press firmly into your hands. Hold. Roll your ankle. Roll it the other direction. Extend your leg up long, inhale. Exhale, bring your right knee towards your right elbow. Hold. Inhale, lengthen it up. Exhale, right knee toward the left elbow, hold, cross. Inhale up. Exhale, right knee to right elbow again. Inhale up. Exhale, right knee to left elbow. Extend your right leg out straight. Go onto the inside edge of your left foot and open up. Hold. If you want a more of a challenge, you can lift your right foot. That's an option, always an option, hold. Breathe. One more inhale. Exhale, bring the hand down the knee to the right elbow. Shoot that leg way up. And then bring the foot down next to the other. Find that down dog. Inhale, exhale, jump or walk forward. Inhale, lengthen, look forward. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come all the way up. Slight back bend, hands to heart center. Inhale up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen, look forward. Exhale, walk, step or jump back. And on that same exhale, lower down. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Breathe. Left leg, way up. Higher. Bend the knee. Breathe, press firmly into both hands. Opening up that left hip. The knee is pointing toward the sky. And start to roll that left ankle. Roll it in the other direction. Good, extend that leg way up, inhale. Exhale, bring the knee, bend, knee to the left elbow. Hold it, breathe. Inhale, back up. Exhale, bring it across to the right, hold. Inhale, bring it back up. Exhale, left to left. Inhale up. Exhale, cross. And now here we go, extend that left leg. Come onto the inside edge of your right foot and open up. If you have it to lift that front foot, go ahead and it's totally an option. Breathe, hips are stacked, breath is flowing. One more inhale, exhale, bring it down, bring that left knee to the left elbow, shoot it up, inhale. Exhale, bring it down and find your downward dog. Let your neck go. Lift up onto all 10 toes, inhale. Exhale, press the heels down. Inhale, press back a little farther. Exhale, walk, step or jump, fold. 
Inhale, lengthen, look forward. Exhale, fold. And then inhale all the way up. Bring those hands to the heart center. Good, so staying right there. Staying right there. Hopefully we are doing good. Feet can be apart. They can be together, wherever feels good for you. Inhale, both arms up. Exhale, keeping the hips facing the front. Take your right hand back, your left arm forward. Gaze out over your right hand, if that feels okay. If that bothers your neck, just look to the side. Breathe. Inhale up. Exhale, other side. Hold and breathe. Inhale up. Exhale, chair. Okay. So in this chair pose, your feet can absolutely be apart if they need to be. Okay? Drop into your heels. We don't want to be here. Okay? If you can, squeeze your hands together. Squeezing your ears with your biceps again. It is a little bit of a back bend. Hold. Hold. Now inhale up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, walk, step, or jump, and lower down. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, right leg comes up. Exhale, right knee to right elbow. Inhale up. Exhale, cross. Inhale up. Exhale, right knee to right elbow. Inhale up. Exhale, cross, hold. But inhale, as you exhale, turn it open. Hold for an inhale. Exhale, bring it down, knee in, extend it up, put the foot down, inhale, press back, exhale, walk, step or jump, inhale, flat back, exhale, fold, inhale, all the way up, hands come to heart center, inhale up, exhale, right hand comes behind, look, inhale up, Exhale, twist the other direction. Inhale up, chair. Breathe. Inhale up, exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, walk, step or jump and lower down. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, left knee to left elbow. Inhale up. Exhale, cross. Inhale up. Exhale, left to left. Inhale up again. Exhale, cross. Inhale, open. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, bring it down, knee. Inhale, shoot it back. Exhale, put it down. Breathe. Let your head be heavy. Now let's get all the way up onto those toes. Inhale, exhale, walk. See if you can get a little closer. Now that we're a little warmer, walk, walk, walk. Inhale here. Exhale, sink your heels down. Inhale, flat back, look forward. Exhale, fold. Inhale, bring it all the way up. Hands to heart center. Close your eyes. And notice. Close your eyes. Notice the warmth of your body. Notice the breath. Notice where you are in space. Where your mind is where your body is. You're right here, nowhere else. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, we'll chair, chair pose. Okay, 
So in chair pose, let's bring your hands to your heart center. Take your left elbow to the outside of your right knee. Hold. Try not to have uneven knees here, so you don't want that left knee shooting forward. Inhale, bring it up. Exhale, chair. Hands to the heart center. Twist the other direction. Hold and breathe. Inhale up. Now listen, as you exhale, bring your hands through heart center, twist to the right. Inhale up, reach. Exhale, twist to the left. Inhale up. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale up. Exhale, twist to the left. Inhale up. Exhale, twist to the right and hold. Hold. So right there, you're staying there, twisted to the right. Okay, you have that twisted chair. You're gonna start to lift your left heel, just a little, just the left heel. Now, you can take 25 little steps, or you can take one big step. Twisted, good. Hold. If this is enough, stay here. If you would like more, bring your hand down and reach this arm up. Hold. Breathe. Keep pressing back through your back heel. Breathe. Now we're going to come up and stay twisted. Knee above the ankle, hold. Take your right arm, sweep it under, lift up, and turn into warrior two. Hold. Turn your front palm, reverse. If you'd like a little bit more out of your reverse warrior, take your hand, your left hand, reach around for your thigh, optional. Inhale, back to warrior two. Exhale, sink. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, sink. Hold. Sweep your left arm around and down. Come back. Exhale, come back down. Now listen, step back and ride through a vinyasa. Lower down. Inhale up. Exhale. Downward dog. Hold. Breathe. Stand up on all of your toes. Start to walk your feet forward. See how it feels this time. When you get there, drop, sink. Inhale, lengthen and look forward, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Close your eyes. Inhale up, exhale chair, heart center, right elbow. Inhale, center up, exhale other side. Inhale up, exhale other side. Inhale up. Exhale, right. Inhale up. Exhale, we're gonna hold it to the left. Hold it to the left. Stay right there. Stay right there, holding it to the left. Lift your right heel as many steps or as few steps as you need. Come back. Your chest is facing the wall in front of you. You're not rounded forward. Squeeze that left knee in towards your chest. If you need more, open up. Hold. Breathe. If you fall, it's okay. On your 
your next inhale, we come up and we're twisted. Hold. Now you're up on the back toes, press into the big toe mound of that back foot, your right foot. Hold. As you inhale, you're gonna sweep. Exhale, turn into warrior two. Hold. Flip your front palm, reverse your warrior. If you'd like to, you can take your hand around. It's not necessary, but an option. Breathe. Back into warrior two. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend. Inhale, lift and turn. Exhale, frame the foot. Step back, rise through a vinyasa. Inhale, up the dog. Exhale, downward dog. Hang out. See how you feel. Breathe. Inhale deep. Exhale, walk or jump toward the hands, fold. Inhale, lengthen, look forward. Exhale, fold. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, up. Exhale, chair. Hands to heart center. Left elbow to the right knee. Inhale. Exhale, send that left leg back. Inhale, open the arms if possible. Exhale. Inhale up. Exhale. Inhale, turn. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, flip your palm. Exhale, reverse your warrior. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend. Inhale, sweep. Exhale, bring it back. Rise through your vinyasa. Meet me back in downward facing dog. Inhale, deep. Exhale, walk, step, or jump your feet forward. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale up. Exhale, chair. Hands coming to heart center. Right elbow to left knee, hold. Inhale. Exhale, right foot steps back. Inhale, open your arms. Exhale. Inhale, lift. Exhale. Inhale, up. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, flip the palm. Exhale, reverse your warrior. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, hold. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend. Inhale, sweep. Exhale, down. Right through your vinyasa. Meet me in downward facing dog. Hold, right there. Hold, breathe. Get up on those toes. Walk your feet on your toes as best you can. Walk, walk, walk. Now, press your left foot down. Bring your right leg up to the sky. If you have it in you, grab your left ankle with your right, sorry, with your left hand. If you have it in you, grab your ankle with both hands. Hold. Inhale. Exhale, get a little closer if you can. Standing splits. Inhale. Exhale, bring it down. Fold. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, jump back right through one more vinyasa with me. Inhale up, exhale back, get up onto the toes, walk forward, walk forward. All right, you ready? Drop your right heel, left leg up, 
Get a little closer, if you can. Right hand, grabbing the right ankle. I told you this was a little more vigorous than Monday. I warn you. Breathe. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, bring it down. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, jump back, lower down, upward dog, and child's pose. Stretch it back. Now stay there. All of the things you can notice. All the things you can notice, Jilly Rice, Kathy, Reese, Donna, Mimi, okay? Right here, and my mom is on. Love you, mom. Breathe. Allow your forearms to sink into that mat. The focus is the breath. If your mind wanders, you take another deep breath. The breath should be a lot more smooth and a lot more fluid than it was at the beginning of your practice. On your next inhale, start to walk your hands up. Lift yourself up onto your knees. Now option one of this, your knees can be a little bit apart. Okay. Actually, let's take all of our knees a little bit apart. Take your hands behind your back. Intertwine your fingers and press your knuckles down toward your calves. Okay, right there. Now, if you'd like a little bit more, open up your chest, keep pressing your knuckles down towards your calves and press your hips forward. If this feels like crunching in your back or something that doesn't feel good, just stay with this. If you're like, don't feel a thing, your other option is to lift onto your toes, grab onto your right. Now remember, this is only if you have done this before and you're pressing that chest up and open. Breathe. Now, if you are holding on to your ankles, grab your left hip, grab your right hip, Everyone else, uncurl, right? Drop back down. Okay, we're gonna come to a pigeon. So, hands on the floor. Step back right. Bring your left knee towards your left forearm. Bring your left foot towards your right wrist. Okay, so let me show you that. You're angled in front here, okay? Angled in front. So, hold it there. Drop it down, and don't come down yet. Don't come down yet. What we don't want to do is sink onto this side, okay? So sometimes you might need to stick a pillow or something under there, and that might help you, okay? Lift up, inhale, get some length in your back, and then exhale, fold it forward, and hang down. Good. Breathe, we're gonna hang here for a second. So breathe right there, enjoy that. Now, if you are trying to still get into this pose and you're like, mm, no, mm -mm, don't think so, your option is to lay on your back, cross your left leg over, and just hug it in here. Okay? Hold that. So yeah, okay, well, this is a little bit of a workout today, but it is also a chance for us to slow ourselves down and working our bodies in a different way where we're stretching, lengthening, warming up our bodies so we can get to this point. Breathe. Breathe. Yeah, so walk your hands up. Now, 
lift up, you're on your, you're on your um, fingertips. Stay here, or if you have it in you, bend your back knee, reach your right arm around, and grab your foot. Now, if you're like, what? Don't do it, just stay here, and keep pressing that pelvis down to the floor. Keep your chest up. Release that down. Okay, listen, curl your back toes under. Lift up. Switch. Right knee comes toward the right forearm. And then the right ankle comes toward the left wrist. Wiggle in first. Don't drop yet. Sink in. Find the length in your back. And then when you're ready, you come over that leg. So I know a bunch of you guys did my booty camp class yesterday, glute work. This should feel good. <laughs> Is that the word I'm looking for? Yes, this should be releasing that just a little bit, right? Breathe. Breathe. Relax your face. Relax your jaw. Again, don't forget to breathe. Keep it flowing. When you're ready, walk it back up onto your fingertips right here. Stay here if you want. You're still gonna get that little bit of a hip flexor stretch. I always bring the right hand in the center. Bring your left leg and your left hand to meet. Oh. I know this side's a little awkward for me. Doesn't feel right. Sometimes that happens. We're on we're not typically balanced, right? Hold. Hi, Sue. Okay. Nice. Hi, Marianne. Good. Take it back to center. All right, good news. You're just going to sink over onto your right leg. Bring it around. Nice. All right. Good news. We are coming down to your back. So let's come down to your back. Pull your knees into your chest. All right, and just take some circles. That should feel really good. Take those circles in the other direction. Good, pull your knees into your chest. Press your knees away from you so that the knees are above your hips. All right, so you're right here. You're not arching in your back. You feel the back flat. Bring your arms out like an air traffic controller, okay? And you're gonna go over to one side. Try your best to keep your right shoulder in contact with the ground. Try and let that top leg be heavy. come up to the other side. I think I have a visitor. I have Anna. Oh no. Oh, puppy yoga. We have puppy yoga again. They seem to like to make appearances in my in my yoga videos. I was teaching her how to down dog the other day. She already knows how to do it very well. Okay. <laughs> Bring your knees back to the center. Hi Anna. Okay, that's Anna. I knew you guys got to see Louie. Bring your knees to the center. Open them up. Grab the outsides of your feet. Pull your knees down toward the floor. It's a happy baby. So you rock side to side. Rock side to side. She's still over there hanging out. If you want to, you can kind of kick. I want you to think about when you see a baby doing this, they're not just like sitting there like this, right? They're probably kicking side to side a little bit. They're laughing. So this is why it's called happy baby. Okay, whatever feels good in there. You can extend both legs if you want. Bring your knees together. Bring your feet to the floor. 
hands down by your sides. I'm just going to articulate the spine by tilting the pelvis. Press your feet into the floor and lift up. Now try not to squeeze your butt, release your butt, relax. And then the same way we came up, come down. So start with your upper back or your middle, and then your middle, middle, middle back, and then your middle lower, and then your lower. One more time. Tilt it up, so peeling slowly off of the floor. Good. And then you come back down. Nice. Extend your legs out one at a time. Now don't leave me during our Shavasana. This is the most important pose there is. So if you just joined me and you're like, she's just laying on the floor, get on the floor and lay with me. All right. So for so many of us, we can use just this part of yoga. The stop, the stillness, the breath. So I'm going to go into a little bit of a yoga nidra, which is um, kind of having you become aware of each part of your body as we finish out our practice. So stay where you are. And just start to notice the very top of your head. Very top of your head. And then notice the back of your head. Notice it heady into the earth. Notice your right ear. your forehead. Soften any lines in the forehead. Notice your left ear. Notice your left temple. Your left eye. the bridge of your nose, your right eye, your right temple. Become aware of the right side of your cheek, the right cheek. Relax in the jaw. Notice the right nostril. The left nostril, the left cheek, the top lip, the roof of your mouth, your tongue, your bottom lip. your chin and your jaw. Relax your entire face. Notice your throat. Your neck. Across the front of your chest, the front of your right shoulder, the right bicep, upper arm, the inside of the right elbow, and notice, notice the inside of your forearm, your wrist, your palm. Notice your thumb, your index finger, your middle finger, ring finger, pinky finger. 
back of your hand and your entire right hand completely relaxed. Noticing the back of your right arm, your right elbow, the right back upper arm, and the back of your right shoulder. Your back of your right shoulder blade and across to your left shoulder blade. Noticing the back of your left shoulder, the left triceps or back of the upper arm and the elbow on the left. Back of the left forearm. Back of the left hand. The thumb, index finger, left middle finger, ring finger, pinky, and palm. Left hand totally relaxed. inside of the left lower arm, inside of the left elbow and the left bicep, and the front of the left shoulder. Coming back to the chest and noticing the slight rise and fall of your chest as you breathe. Noticing the belly, soft. The right hip. The right front of your thigh and the right knee. And the kneecap, just notice. The right shin, the right ankle. top of your right foot, the right big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe and pinky, bottom of your right foot, right heel, right Achilles. right calf, back of your right knee, back of your right thigh, and the right glute. And now just let that entire right leg relax. Noticing the left glute the left hamstrings or back of the thigh, back of the left knee, left calf, left Achilles, left heel, bottom of your foot. Notice the left big toe second toe, third toe, fourth toe, and pinky toe. Notice the top of your left foot and the ankle. Left shin, left knee, left upper thigh, left hip, your pelvic area, your belly, your heart, your 
by your body to relax. You need to wiggle your toes. Begin to wiggle your fingers. Allow your thumb to feel the skin of each fingertip. When you feel ready, take a deep breath in and reach your arms over your head. Long stretch like you just woke up and maybe some of you did. And exhale. Now another deep breath right here. We're going to take it in through the nose. Keep it coming. Deeper, hold it. Give me a little bit more. Sigh it out through your mouth. When you feel ready, slowly bring the knees into your chest, one knee at a time. And when you feel ready, your right arm comes over your head on the floor. You're just going to fall over to your right side in a fetal position. And then put your left hand on the floor and press yourself back up to seated and wherever you began your practice. Bring your hands to your heart. I know the nidra at the end can sometimes feel a little, I have to get up, I have to get up, but you don't have to get up. If you didn't get to finish it with me during today's practice, do the nidra, just fast forward to that part and see if you can just lay with me and do it and just slow down no matter when during the day. It takes about five minutes. It will help to center your body, center your mind. Feel the warmth of your hands together. Imagine me reaching out to you, virtually holding hands, telling you that I'm proud of you for you coming to the mat and your practice today. Bring your hands to your heart center and be proud of yourself for coming to the mat and doing your practice today. So as we take an inhale all the way up to the sky and remember that intention that you sent, bring it down to your heart again. Remember this intention. Remember why you came to this practice, why you came to the mat. I enjoyed every second of this with you today, and I hope you did too. If you have someone that can use some yoga in, your, in their lives, please share it, you guys. Namaste. Thank you.